And so I decided after cleaning that up to go ahead and like soak the, the mop. This is a broom. <laughs> Hello you guys, come on in. My name is Brittany and in today's video we are just going to be tackling some cleaning and things. I have a little project that I want to take care of before we get into cleaning and that is taking care of my poor sad plants. So I have two string of pearl plants. I am not a plant person by any means. It is like pulling teeth for me to try to keep them alive. I have these two string of pearl plants and the one you guys might remember hangs right above the sink. And it's been kind of sitting on the shelf for a while because the one of the ropes that holds the plant hanger up, it broke. And it's also about time for that one to be repotted into something bigger. At least I think that's what I should probably do. And then my other one that sits by the window is really sad because the kids, well, I have a feeling it was only the youngest one, kind of picks and plucks at it because it's very tempting. It is very tempting. So I want to try to get that poor pitiful one that hasn't grown or thrived or anything. I want to try to get that one hanging up where the other one was over by the kitchen sink and then I want to try to get the one that's really long and beautiful and thriving I want to try to get that one hanging up somewhere else I'm going to take care of the plants for a little bit and I want to try to make these macrame plant hangers that I found a complete tutorial for free on YouTube so I will link that below for anyone who might be interested in macrame it is really I love macrame. I've only done one project with macrame, but I absolutely loved it. If anyone's looking into getting into that, it is very easy. It is very, very simple. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, and it's very relaxing for me. So anyway, so we're gonna take care of those plants. Then I need to get some things done around the kitchen. I really need to get these floors taken care of from here to the end of the hallway at least. I also need to clean the bathroom down here. I need to clean both bathrooms, but I think for the filming purposes, we'll do the downstairs one since I've had the upstairs bathroom in I think the last two videos. So I'm not gonna film the upstairs bathroom today. We'll just see where we can get to. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna stay a while and let's get into it. So this here is Little Miss Pitiful. She got knocked over and it took me forever to find potting soil. So I finally did get some potting soil, so we're gonna get her all fixed up and rejuvenated. Hopefully she is going to survive this process because I love her. And then we have my little aloe plant here. This one's been plucked to pieces as well. Uh, this is actually Wade's marigold that he has to go plant outside that he got for his birthday. So we're gonna clean this up and get this taken care of. And then I've got my mop here. We had a trash can spill with some coffee grounds. And so I decided after cleaning that up to go ahead and like soak the, the mop. This is a broom. <laughs> Sorry guys, but anyway. So I've got this broom soaking here. We're gonna clean that up. I'm gonna clean the dustpan. This was long overdue anyway. It definitely needed this. And after this morning's little accident, it was, it was time. I wasn't gonna be able to use this without cleaning it. So we took care of that. And this here is my thriving string of pearls. And as you can see, this is where it broke. And I gotta go online and do some research about 
does this need to be able to drain at all times because it's a succulent I thought I didn't really need to worry about draining it and I think that might have had something to do with why it broke I think it was holding way too much water and then therefore way too much weight and I think that might be why it broke so we're gonna get this one out of this pot and into the same size pot as the other one is in and hopefully make those hangers real quick and get them taken care of so here i have all my supplies for my plant hanger and my potting mix and we're ready to get started on repotting these plants and getting them all fixed up I hope that this video finds you well out there in your place in the world. I hope that everyone's had a great week and a great weekend, and I hope you guys are all excited for a brand new week. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys have been up to this week, what's on your to-do list, what have you been doing, have you went on vacation? I've seen a lot of people go on vacation. How was your 4th if you celebrate the 4th of July here in America? Let me know what's been going on with you guys down in the comments. Can I make you change your mind? Yeah, I know that it's over. But can we stay here for a while? Until the everything's alright again. And of course, how fair is it that mommy gets to play in dirt? The little boy's gotta get to play in some dirt too. I had to be super careful with this and I had to untangle all of the beautiful little tendrils. I had to be very, very gentle and it was a bit of a process, but we made it through and now we're going to move on and get this mess cleaned up. Can you stay a little longer? Can I make you change your mind? Yeah, I know that it's over. But can we stay here for a while? Until everything's alright again. That's cool with you, cool with you, cool with you. Cause that's cool. The water went straight through the pitiful plant, straight through the pot, down to the plate, and so I had a puddle of water and I spilled some on the floor. Luckily, it's a beautiful day and I can leave my broom out to let it dry and while it's drying, we can move on. I'm going to wash up this dustpan and then we're going to start on making our plant hanger. So the first thing that I need to do is measure out all of my different cords that I'm going to need to make this plant hanger and the table happened to be exactly half the length for the majority of the cords so I was able to use my table as a guide which was really fun. So we're going to cut out all of our cords and then we're going to get started on making knots. This isn't going to be a full tutorial of course, that is definitely not my my specialty but this is gonna be a highlight reel of how I got it all done and if I can manage to make this happen I know that you can as well it took me a minute to get the hang of making square knots again which is what I'm doing right now we are making some square knots and the this part of the plant hanger is actually going to be the loop so I didn't have to have a wooden 
ring or any type of a ring to start this with because I didn't have one on hand. So I was very thankful to find this tutorial where it didn't require one. And I think it's pretty cool that you can make it out of the macrame itself. And I'm just following along this tutorial. We're making a gathering knot and then we're gonna be making some more square knots. And then I actually learned how to make the spiral knots, which is just a bunch of half square knots over and over again. But if you guys are interested in starting on something for macrame, I will definitely leave the tutorial down below. Pinterest is another great place to find tutorials. So I hope that helps anybody who might be interested in starting on macrame hobby and if you didn't know these chairs and a simple hanger is a great way to get your project that you're working on hanging so that you can use gravity to help you along with all of your knots Finishing up and connecting all of the pieces together with a few square knots, then we're going to be wrapping it up with another gathering knot and trimming the excess at the end and our plant hanger is going to be done. This entire project took, took me maybe almost two hours, but there was a lot of trial and error like with the spirals I had to start those over a couple of times and then also with filming and with momming so this is definitely a simple project that you can get done in a day and just some of your spare time throughout the day but now we are going to go ahead and add in our plant and I am so lucky she fits perfect but this project was too long to use for the plant that's going to go above the sink so I got to find another tutorial for that one or maybe just alter and modify this one to where it would be perfect fit for above the sink but for now she is beautiful and she is thriving both plants are actually doing really well since i've moved them over but it's only been a couple of days so we're gonna have to wait it out and see for sure but i love how she looks here in the laundry room now i just need to find a new place for my thanksgiving cactus which is pretty much just a christmas cactus but it blooms at thanksgiving and so for now, we are gonna move Miss Pitiful over here to the sink and just have her sitting on the shelf. And she seems to be doing really well, but now we are gonna tackle some things around the house. It is almost time for me to start dinner. And I actually never emptied the dishwasher from that morning. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I am gonna actually put all of the Tupperware into my drainer on the counter and let that air dry. I tend to do this quite a a bit because it's kind of a pain to try to dry the Tupperware and it doesn't take it very long to air dry anyway but we're gonna go ahead and hand dry and put away all the rest the cups the plates and the silverware
This is our mess splash area that's right behind where the trash can has been sitting. And so it's time to wipe down this wall once again. If you don't know, then now you know, these little handy rubber bands that go around the lid of a trash can, they are amazing to help keep your bag from slipping down into the can. And I will try to find some that are on Amazon or something and link them below for you guys. Michael just came home from the hardware store with these one day and they are amazing. And I actually just washed it in the sink with some dish soap. And we're gonna go over all the sides of this bin that have been splashed on. I don't even know what happened but we are just gonna wipe it down with a Clorox wipe Let's talk. Meet me at the I was trying to just do some things around the kitchen that weren't dishes until after dinner because I didn't want to be working on dishes before dinner and then again after dinner as far as filming goes so I thought one fell swoop would be better than a whole bunch of little swoops and so now we are coming back after dinner and this is the state of the kitchen and we are going to go ahead and get started on dishes. I don't know how I got so backed up on dishes on this day but we are going to go ahead and take care of them. I've got about a full load that's going to go in the dishwasher. We're also going to tackle the cluttered corner over there where the microwave is, but first I'm going to go ahead and dry what isn't quite dry on these Tupperware containers and go ahead and get them put away because I need this drainer to set my stuff that's going to go in the dishwasher once I rinse it. It's really a pain having the dishwasher across the kitchen from the sink, but it is what it is and I have made it work for going on six years now. Making me say, but let's talk. Are you at the avenue? I don't need nobody else but me. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I just need time right now. I'm going alone tonight. I don't need nobody else but me. But I'm thinking of the way you. I hope you loved getting to tune in for my regular jam session and we got some dancing going on now too so enjoy that but now we're gonna finish up getting this dishwasher loaded and then we're gonna get on hand washing dishes I wish I could make you stay cuz baby I love you why you trying to break us up when I'm trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop cuz baby I love
say you're leaving town Everything is upside down Oh baby, I love you, yeah Why you gonna leave when I need you the most? Wherever you go, I'll be there, you know Don't be a stranger, don't be a ghost Cause baby, I love you, yeah Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no Now that we have a clean empty sink that's going to last about as long as a fart in the wind, <laughs> uh, we are going to continue on and get these counters cleaned up and close out the kitchen for the night. This ends up being filmed over two days and I was going to try to get to sweeping and mopping the floors once Wade went to bed, but he actually ended up being up, well we both ended up being up pretty much all night. Uh, until about 2 a.m. and he was having some tummy issues and so we are all off schedule on our sleep schedule and yeah I am hoping that we can get that back on track because the mornings have not been going so smoothly everyone is wanting to sleep in and that it just it makes for not so good days because your days are like halfway over if you sleep in so I'm hoping to get us all back on track here soon but for now this is real life and we are just gonna roll with the punches
This area here has needed my attention for quite some time at this point. It has survived the Wade's birthday party, a couple of grocery trips, some crafting in the 4th of July as well. And so it is definitely time for me to go through here and just get it all cleaned up and reorganized. We did a lot of crafting on the 4th because I didn't know exactly what our plans were going to be because Michael was on call for work and he ended up having to run and do quite a few jobs throughout the day so we made the best of it and we did some crafts and I still got all the mess from that here in the kitchen as you'll see before we move on to day two and so once I get this area here cleared out I will give you guys a good after shot and then we will be moving on to day two up on day two we are gonna go ahead and get this bathroom cleaned up it's really not too much of a mess as far as clutter and stuff being on the counter it just really needs a good dusting and wiping down I'm trying hard to get this camera to show you guys this shelf was really dusty and so that's what we're gonna take care of here and then we will get on sweeping and mopping the floors did a little dry dusting here with a slightly damp paper towel. I like to do that when I am cleaning the toilet as well because I love to get that layer of dust off first before I go in to clean it. But otherwise, I've really been avoiding doing any dry dusting. I watched a video about where that's really ineffective and it does make sense and I've felt that way before, but I also don't like using something wet to push around dust because I feel like, you know, it doesn't really stick. But if you use a slightly damp, 
paper towel. It works really well. It sticks. It pulls the lint and dust and dirt and stuff right off and makes a nice surface for you to go in with your cleaning. You have the time of your life every single night The confetti's raining down You put your hands to the sky Center of the crowd You're the talk of the town And I tell myself I don't want that What glitters and gold I tell myself I don't need it Cause I'm fine on my own But I hate being on Now that the maintenance cleaning in here is done, I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up this floor, get everything off the floor so we can get it ready to sweep and mop. I do need to get on cleaning the shower, but that's gonna be on a different day because I need to get to the store and get some cleaning vinegar because that's the way I like to clean the shower. And so that's not gonna happen on this day, but we are gonna get these floors cleaned up. I wanna be the Part of me just died on the inside when I had to sweep this dirt into this fresh clean dustpan, but <laughs> that's okay, that's what it's for, right? But just, it, it helped me cringe a lot, man. It had me cringing. So anyway, we're gonna get the laundry room floor in here. We're gonna get that swept and mopped as well. And so I just needed to get all of the laundry I had sorted off of the floor as well as anything else that was in my way. And if you guys remember last video, I washed all of the rugs like all the little throw rugs that go on the floor all around the house and the ones that all go in the downstairs they were still sitting in the laundry basket waiting to be put back and i wanted to do it on clean floors because by the time i had those clean and dry the floors all needed to be cleaned again so here we are we're gonna get these all fresh and clean and finally get those rugs put back at the end of this video Yeah. 
This is pitch perfect. Really got me thinking you and I could be something. Pressed all the right buttons and now I'm done searching. Damn tired and yours that I'll be going no competition. Sweet like gelato, Diego, shape of Valentino. Rocking on a high, no got a love in this soprano. No man, I go not so judge, no Chiana, but Bado. Tired and yours, I'm up so no. Cause you're the one and only girl. Promise, I ain't tryna play games with ya, girl. Honest, you are not a side character. Every day after day, I tryna go out my way. Cause I wanna secure you. And today I am remembering to show you the clean mop pad as well as the dirty mop pad at the end. So let's go ahead and get our mop on. I always give away too much. Mm -hmm. Aww. Thank you. I got the food. Uh, I was going to ask it was fine to come off, so I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. How would we'll get it for you? This, this, where are the balconies? No boundaries, I get too close. No little by little here. Cause I get my all. Pour out my heart oh, Little by little here I always run at the wall I'd rather jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky Little by little here No, no Stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different, something else No little by little here Cause I get my oh, 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 oh. No little by little I pour out It felt so good to have all of this done and to be putting all of these clean little rugs back in their place on a nice clean floor. But this is real life and we were already coming up on lunchtime for this day and Wade was insisting on playing Play-Doh so he is already at the kitchen table at this point messing around with Play-Doh. I guess he was inspired by me moving the ice cream truck full of Play-Doh around so I'm going to go ahead and fill up the doggies water while I'm at it getting it all put back with a nice clean towel under because it splashes a lot and we're trying to keep the floor dry but anyway I really appreciate you guys coming over and I I hope that this video gave you a ton of motivation. As you can see, this is real life. Dishes are already back in the sink and messes are still being made. And we're just gonna keep on cleaning them up. But thanks again for coming over. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time. Take such good care of you. Bye.